going to do today is we're going to start looking, learning how to finger pick um, and as opposed to um, strumming. And we're going to learn it in three stages. And the first stage that we're going to learn is allocated fingers. Now what do I mean by allocated fingers? We've got G, G, C, A, P. We're going to allocate our thumb to the G string, our index finger to the C string. Uh, I'm not sure what finger that is. Uh, the the uh, second finger there to the um, to the E string, and that string, uh, that fin the last finger there before the pinky, to the A string. Pinky is fair. Now we've all, um, e through evolution, or depending on what you believe, or design, we have opposing thumbs. So when you're going to, the thumb will fit down, and your fingers will pick up, even when I say that we're going down, downwards, you're still plucking upwards. So it's as though, if you were going to pick up your ukulele by the strings, and you were using those four fingers, how would you pick it up? So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to allocate the thumb and those fingers to those strings. We're going to learn that first. We're then going to break that rule and in, at times we're going to use what I call is a rocking thumb where the thumb uses the first two strings and there's some other things we're going to learn as well. But let's not concentrate on that. Let's, first of all, we've got to learn the, the fingers and allocated to those strings. Um, we'll, to do that, we'll use Muppets All Around Me. Um, I think Wet Wet did it. Uh, it's in um, Love Actually. Um, so we've got G, A minor, C, and D. And the first strumming pattern that we're going to do, the picking pattern that we're going to do, is just down. So we're just going to play thumb. We're just going to go thumb first, second, third. Thumb first, second, third. Then we're going to change the A minor. That was the G to the A minor. And we're just doing the same thing. Thumb. Just doing that all the way through thumb down start again thumb downwards start again and when I say downwards but don't try to do as I say so people try to do so to put their fingers down they come upwards so we do uh, happened on the chorus is that we did two measures. Don't even worry about the chorus for the moment. Allocate your fingers, thumb and fingers. I just keep saying fingers. Al thumb and fingers. Allocate them to the strings as though you were picking it up by those four fingers. 
then play the chord and just go, this is just a down. Now when you've mastered the annotated finger, you don't always have to do it in the same pattern. But it is the same fingers that are always going to play those strings. So you could, in this, we could do the top string and then go to the to the third finger and go upwards. So we could do thumb and then upwards. But I don't want you to do that yet, not until you've mastered the downward stroke. But we could do that. So if you once you've mastered that, we can then look at going downwards. I will also mention just at this stage that you can pinch. Sometimes if you want to make more sound, you can pinch, pinch two strings, the top string using your opposing thumb and fingers to make, and you see those strings moving. So I'm using two fingers and they're in opposition as opposed to if I play that, I can't play as loudly. So sometimes you want the two together. And if we were going downwards, uh, upwards, as I just... But I don't want you to worry about that. That will all come with the allocated fingers. But I just wanted to show you where it's going. I better mention as well because some of you are going to do 3A and other people may be instructing you and say that isn't how you learn picking. Um, so there is what I've, I've mentioned before about um, what I call a rocking thumb between the two. So the thumb will have to do the top two and these fingers that were allocated will still remain allocated. If we might be, if we were doing the band below. So we will be learning that as well. So again, don't let anybody tell you this isn't right. We're going allocated fingers, thumb, first, second, third. Okay, and also clap them all together. You've learned the allocated fingers. So, all I'm trying to encourage you to do is to learn the allocated finger first, and then all, all the rest will come. Thank you. See you soon. Stay well.